All right, final and most important announcement, at least because it's a change in the ministry. It's really an opportunity to reformat, simplify, and and get you guys more plugged in than ever before in such a way, in the past, what ministries you got here? We have so many ministries. There's probably so many that you don't even know about. What we wanted to do was organize the entire ministry itself and categorize it into groups. Something you're already doing, but this is new. You're either sitting on it right now or it's on the seat next to you. And it'll help if you're grabbing it and looking at it as I'm announcing it. Because this is new, we want you to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. We've divided all of the ministries up into groups. And the groups will include discipleship groups, support groups, and activity groups. Discipleship groups will take the place of what is formerly known as connect groups. Who's part of a connect group? Let me see your hand. Awesome. The connect groups are the lifeboats of the main fellowship. It's where you get to know other families. It's where you get to know them in a deeper way than you can on a Sunday or a Thursday. The connect groups are now going to be called discipleship groups. Why would we do that? Well, the goal is discipleship within the ministry. And that is what happens in those group settings. Disciples are made. You disciple one another. You walk life out together. The discipleship groups are going to have several new components. Some of you study the sermon content in your connect group, your discipleship group. That is going to be offered still, whether it's Thursday night's message or Sunday morning's message. We'll provide the discussion questions. You will walk through those questions as a group. There's also going to be some specific focuses. There's going to be new groups that arise that go, you know what? We want to focus on parenting. And those that have an interest will make a group. There's going to be marriage content for you to choose from. There's going to be age appropriate content. Maybe a young adults group will form and say, you know what? We want to talk about the stage of life that we're in together, but that's discipleship. So discipleship group is our biggest push. And in the card, we'd ask for you, if you're willing to be a leader, just put your name down on the back. You'll see that we're looking for leaders to all of these groups, but discipleship groups specifically. All right, next group. This one is already happening in the ministries, the support groups. What is a support group? Well, did you know we have several recovery ministries, ministries that might deal with family trauma, addiction? We already have those ministries. We're just going to put them under the umbrella of a group, a support group. And the hope is that there are people here that go, you know what? I want to start a group, perhaps like a grief share group. There's a lot of people going through grief, tragedy. We want to have a support group where you can come together and weep with those who weep, rejoice with those who rejoice, and do life together. So we're looking for new groups in that capacity, support groups. And finally, this one kind of happens organically, but we wanted to organize it. It's an activity group. Did you know that we have two softball teams here at Coastal Christian? Obviously runs the length of the summer, but the softball groups are an opportunity to get together with other people, not necessarily studying the Bible, or not necessarily walking through a sermon, but you're just doing life together during an activity. Some activities could possibly include running. You want to run with some family members from church, rock climbing. I have no idea where the nearest rock climbing opportunity is near the ocean, but that's an opportunity or a reading book group. Scott Johnson and I do a basketball ministry on Sunday nights, whether you're aware of that or not. Every Sunday night, we do a basketball ministry at ACS. That would be an activity group where we'd say, hey, you want to come out? We share the gospel with these guys that come out from all over. That would be an activity group. That would be an opportunity to get to know each other outside of the building more than you do on a Sunday. Is all this making sense or am I up here just, okay, all right. Everybody's like this. (laughs) So there you have it. Please take advantage of the cards our team puts it together so that you can fill them out. If you have any interest of leading a group or joining a group, put your name there. Or if you want to do it through the digital form, technology, scan the QR code. You can drop those cards off in any of the offering drops at all of the exits and we'll be sure to follow up with you. That's what we're doing in the ministry. It's a way of organizing it because the goal is discipleship. That's our newest connection strategy here at Coastal Christian. 
inward before we go outward. Inward discipleship before we go outward to the world.